Good morning, good morning. Today we are here at the Kearney Mesa Rec Center on a beautiful San Diego day where it's raining, fortunately. So it's great, to, uh, great for the rain and it's, it's great to be indoors. Um, you know, rec centers are, are truly where our communities come together. It's where friends can play a pickup game of basketball. It's where children can grow and learn. And it's a safe place for our sons and daughters to go after school. And unfortunately, rec centers across San Diego suffered cuts to their hours during the Great Recession. So last month, when I released my one San Diego budget, I proposed to restore hours at 16 rec centers across the city. And today, I'm releasing an update to that budget. And I'm happy to announce that we will more than double the number of hours that I announced in April. Under this plan, 36 rec centers across San Diego in every council district from Rancho Bernardo to San Ysidro will be open 15 more hours per week. That's 33% longer, a massive increase that will give families, children, and seniors greater access to community programs. And this is just one of several additions in my May revision to the budget which we will be forwarding to the City Council. Very good news in here is our economic base is continuing to strengthen and we can project even greater revenues coming into the city than we did in April. The economy is improving and our neighborhoods should share in this benefit. And I'm proposing we put these new revenues directly into programs that boost city services and make all of our communities stronger and better. And combined with streamlining measures and other adjustments, this budget update proposes about $8 million in expanded neighborhood services like libraries and public safety, city programs, and community improvements. And today, I am also announcing a new reform to protect the city's financial health, a pension stabilization reserve fund. Over the last decade, San Diegans have seen how massive pension payments, combined with a weak economy, can wreak havoc on city budgets. And as a result, rec center hours had to be slashed. Fire stations didn't get built, and potholes went unfilled. Thankfully, we are in better financial times. And the responsible thing to do is to save for the future. This reserve fund will help protect against future budget cuts when pension costs rise unexpectedly. This reform will create a buffer to protect our neighborhoods. So in years when the annual pension payment unexpectedly squeezes the budget, we'll be able to tap this reserve before resorting to cutting community services. I'm proposing $15 million for the pension reserve next year. And the funding will come from a projected surplus in the current budget. The need for this pension reserve is great. It is no secret that the stock market has not been roaring this year like it has in the previous years. And as a result, the pension fund is underperforming in the investment market and will likely miss this year's earnings target. This means the city's pension payment next year could escalate by millions of dollars. The pension reserve fund will help protect taxpayers and neighborhoods from serious financial impacts that can come from pension system volatility. It is the right thing to do. So I urge the City Council to support this reserve and these additional neighborhood improvements when it has the opportunity to vote on the budget next month. This is all of us working together to do what we know this city needs, investing in our communities, investing in our neighborhoods, investing in neighborhood services and at great rec centers like this that offer our, offer our families and our children the opportunity to succeed. This budget plan that we're announcing provides for our future and the future and the future financial health of our city. Those two go hand in hand. So now I'd like to introduce some of our other speakers and first and foremost, I'd like to introduce our city council president, Sherry Leitner, who's doing tremendous work and Sherry, I want to thank you for your continued leadership. Council President Leitner. 
Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. Based on my briefing with the mayor's staff, I'm encouraged about the May revise of the FY16 proposed budget that will be released next week. I appreciate the mayor's efforts to incorporate the major priorities and requests made by each council district and department in the past few weeks. I am especially pleased to hear about additional expanded recreation center hours and the boost to the library budget. These are both vital public programs that mean more to our residents than ever before, so it's very important to keep them funded. New to this list and equally exciting is the addition of a citywide horticulturalist. Although it is raining today, we are still in a drought condition, so having a professional staff member to oversee the big picture of ground maintenance and city foliage will be vital as we look to reduce our water usage and plant more native and drought tolerant plants. I'm pleased to see the additional funding for the city's open data initiative, which will allow for more transparency at the city. All in all, the city's budget is moving in the right direction, and after years of sacrifices on the part of our residents, communities, and city staff, it's encouraging to see a budget that continues to provide essential services such as public safety and infrastructure and restores recreation center hours and library hours as well as some of the other city programs. Thank you and now I'd like to introduce Council Member Sherman. Thank you and uh, first and foremost I just want to thank the mayor and his staff for scheduling this indoors. I'm appreciative of that. <laughs> but but I really am glad to be here today to support the mayor's budget and the May revise because what the mayor's done is, is you know, announcing all these different hours for the rec centers and, and the parks and those and increasing that level of service. What he's done is shown is that he's listening to the taxpayers because across every single council district we hear from taxpayers all the time where they expect their taxpayer dollars to go. Parks, recs, libraries, public safety, infrastructure. This budget I think focuses solely on those issues and puts the money that the taxpayers send back into the neighbors, neighborhoods and into the services that they expect us to provide. So congratulations, Mayor. I think this is an excellent, excellent budget. I think you and your team have done a wonderful job and I'm looking forward to seeing more and more hours in the rec centers and more and more people being able to utilize them. So thank you very much. And with that, uh, my council colleague, Council Member Kate. Thank you, Council Member Sherman, and thank you, Mayor Faulkner and Council President Leitner for all of your leadership and working to get through this budget process. Like the Mayor Faulkner, I share in his vision for safer and revitalized neighborhoods. It is invigorating to see the city's devotion to core neighborhood services that truly help all San Diegans. The budget is a prominent investment in the communities and residents that help make San Diego a great place to live, work, and play. This funding will expand hours at 20 recreation centers, including this one right here in Kearney Mesa, as well as North Claremont, from 45 hours per week to 60 hours per week. And as we continue to restore neighborhood services, it's important that we implement re reforms that maintain these dollars into these core services. And that's why I support Mayor Faulkner's plan to establish a pension payment stabilization reserve fund. As we have seen in the past, the city can experience losses in our pension fund due to unpredictable market activity. This fund will ensure that we will continue to increase investment in core neighborhood services, not cut, in order to supplement a pension payment. This is a great example of responsible government practices that will help sustain San Diego's financial health and resiliency. I look forward to working with my council colleagues to grant authorization for this fund and the mayor's proposal during the, mayor, the May revision to the fiscal year 2016 budget. Thank you very much. Back to Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And I want to thank all of our uh, community leaders who are here today who feel so strongly from our parks and recs and our rec centers and what it means to, to San Diegans across the city. I want to thank our, our city department heads, uh, Herman from, uh, from Park and Rec, my friend. Uh, uh, thank you for your continued leadership. Our uh, chief financial officer is running around hiding somewhere, Mary Lewis. Uh, Mary, thanks again for all of your work on the, uh, on the budget. This is always a collective uh, and team effort, united to move San Diego forward and to restore neighborhood services. It's something that all of us are very, very proud of. So thank you all for being here. If there's any uh, specific questions, we'll be happy to answer them one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.